Welcome to Newsroom Zoom, the names you know, the news you need. We're your hosts. I'm Jesse Hill. And I'm Natalie. Tonight's top story, doTERRA Sun. Earlier this year, doTERRA announced the expected release date of doTERRA Sun product line. However, due to unexpected production delays, doTERRA reluctantly changed the launch date from June 1st to July 1st of 2022. This all-natural, all-new sun protection system includes a body mineral sunscreen spray, a face and body mineral sunscreen lotion, and a face and body mineral sunscreen stick. The After Sun Restorative Body Spray is expected to be available August 1st of 2022. Check out today with your doTERRA sun products. If I had to guess, this product line could sell out at any time, and you won't want to miss out on these this summer. Jesse, I have a great recipe to share with everyone until the After Sun Restorative Spray is available. When in doubt, just DIY. Ingredients are one 16 ounce glass spray bottle, one cup aloe vera juice, quarter cup of fractionated coconut oil, one teaspoon vitamin E oil, eight drops of the following essential oils, lavender, tea tree, and peppermint. All you have to do after that is shake to combine and spray as needed after you have been in the sun. Very good. Well, leading the way here and the way there and everywhere, she is Karen Abeglin. If I had to guess, Karen has something special up her sleeve tonight. You never know with that lady. <laughs> Karen, what have you discovered in your travels this last week? Inquiring minds would like to know. Hello, Lifestyle with Karen Abeglin here, and I am currently visiting with Christine Hales in her RV. Christine, do you like traveling this summer? Traveling is something we look forward to all winter long, and then when summer hits, yep, yeah, we're on the road. So do you have any tips for us today on benefits with the oils while traveling? Yes, I do. So the first one is going to be the On Guard Spray. So the On Guard Spray is because we're in and out of all different kinds of places, traveling more than we do. We can do this all the time, hand spray. But my favorite use of this is in restrooms. Oh, that's a fabulous idea. Kind of like a restroom pre-deodorizer. Yes. Just in case it might smell before you get in there. Yeah, you don't know who was there before. Mm -hmm. And if you're traveling in a motorhome, same thing. It's a little more confined. So a little at a time goes a long way. Yeah, it sure does. Okay, next tip I have is as you're traveling, you want to keep your nutrition up. And sometimes having all the supplements we normally do, it's easier to take the chewable. Children's chewable for adults is also approved. It is so convenient, especially when you're on the go. You can even pack it in if you're going to take a hike or anything. And um, it gives me like an instant boost. I got to say, this works extremely fast for energy. Uh, my next tip is if you're hot, it's summertime, right? A spray bottle with a couple of drops of peppermint in it and water and misting yourself as you're getting hot. Oh, that sounds wonderful. I could use a little bit of that right now. Yes. <laughs> And my last one, as you can see behind us, I have my bed. And I love my private bed in my motorhome. Some of you may be traveling in RVs too. But sometimes uh, you need to kind of unwind time. So my favorite is this with the bubble diffuser, which is so awesome, with adaptive. Because we are adapting to all kinds of things when we're out of our home. So I like this one because it runs on a UPS USB. USB plug, which means you can do it in cars and everything, and then you can unplug it. I can stick it right here by where I'm sleeping. And it and holds as, a battery charge. And it holds a battery charge. And so as I'm turning in my bed, then it will activate that because it's motion sensitive and give me a little pss in the middle of the night just at the right time. You know, I keep this um, bubble diffuser plugged in all the time. I don't find a need to move it around a whole lot. But currently, we, because of the season, the season's just been a little bit more intense for us here. So we have, been, we have kept peppermint and lavender and lemon in a pre-mixed blend inside of the, the bubble diffuser. It has been wonderful. Wow, that's a great idea too. Great for traveling. Yeah. 
Well, thank you, Christine. I'm so glad that I was able to travel here and be with you as you traveled. And uh, I hope everyone gained some wonderful tips from this expert, Christine Hales. Good to be with you. Goodbye. Back to you, Natalie. Thank you, Karen and Christine. I especially like the idea of the On Guard hand sanitizer spray, because you really never know. Well, dribbling over to Coach Corner, we have Coach O with us. What you got for us tonight, Coach? Hey, guys. Thanks for having me back on the show. Uh, today, what we want to highlight is whether you're going to do an outdoor workout by yourself or you're going to play one-on-one -on -one against your son, right? Video to follow. So what we've used in the past with our athletes and the athletes that I coach, uh, whether it's children or um your son who wants to get out and shoot on the court, let's say they've got a little dinged up knee or an elbow or something. We like to add um, 15 drops of Cypress to a spray bottle, followed by five drops of oregano and 10 drops of peppermint. What we like to do is add three quarters of water to that and then we will top it off with your choice of fractionated coconut oil. I hope you guys enjoy those tips. Back to you guys at the studio. Thanks coach, always great to see you and thanks for the tips. This just in, we have breaking news. 10% off doTERRA's 15 milliliter oregano and Cypress is free this month as doTERRA's product of the month. So again, 10% off doTERRA's 15 milliliter oregano and Cypress is free. We have Karen with special guest, Dr. Matt Hales with more on Cypress. Thank you, Natalie. Karen Abeglin with Matt Hales. And today we will clearly be discussing Cyprus. So Matt, I know, I know that you use Cyprus a lot. Mm -hmm. And I also know that you use a lot of other essential oils a lot. Yes. So what is it about Cyprus that you like? It makes my mustache thicker. <laughs> I use it to grow my mustache. Hmm. Well, I don't think I will use it for that. So why would I use it? Maybe for um, swollen feet. You're a woman and you often have swollen feet. <laughs> I didn't know you knew that about me. That, yeah. So I had a patient in my office the other day and uh, he had swollen feet. Mm -hmm. And that's what we recommended. We used Cypress. I told him to get some of those compression socks and then put cypress in a massage oil and then just put that on his feet a couple times a day. Well, that's amazing. I'm so. a little bit surprised that you know so much about me because I actually keep cypress at my bedside and I have a little, a couple other oils that I blend with it and I rub my feet because they get sore and swollen. It increases circulation. Hmm. So cypress for swollen feet and mustaches. I'm with you, Karen. I don't think I'll be using Cypress to grow any facial hair anytime soon. <laughs> However, to increase my circulation, you betcha. Shifting gears now, it's time to head over to do-it-yourself Lisa. Lisa, what you got cooking over there? Hello, thank you for having me on the show. Welcome to Tips and Tricks with Do-It-Yourself Lisa. That's me. On today's episode of Clashing in the Kitchen, I'm going to share a recipe for the perfect meat marinade. Marinades are super simple and practically foolproof, and using essential oils in your marinades can provide the perfect punch of flavor for your 4th of July cookout or any of the lazy, hazy grilling days of summer. I keep a set of spice and herb oils on a rack in my kitchen, and I use them all the time. I also keep lavender with them for those occasional kitchen injuries like cuts and burns. This week in our testing kitchen, I used two pounds of drumsticks, which is just a fancy word for saying chicken legs. <laughs> Maybe our cameraman Charles can get a close up of my legs. And don't they look delicious? And how about posting the recipe so our viewers can screenshot?
name's Chuck. Can I call you Chuck? No? No Chuck, huh? No Chuck. No Chuck. <clears throat> Thank you, Charles. And might I say that for the sake of convenience and climate control for the chef, that would be me. I did air fry my chicken. I cooked it at 350 for 12 minutes on one side, and then I flipped it over for 15 minutes on the other, and it came out perfect. And you can get creative. Any meat will work. You can add some honey or some peach marmalade. You can swap out the oil and vinegar for an oil or vinegar that you prefer. And for those of you who like things a little bit spicy, how about adding some crushed red pepper flakes or some jalapeno to your marinade? You can even play around with the essential oils. Whatever you do, don't be afraid to use essential oils in the kitchen. Just make sure that they're doTERRA oils and that they have a supplement back label on the bottom. And remember, when using essential oils in the kitchen, a little goes a long way. This is Do It Yourself Lisa signing off. Back to you guys in the studio. As always, thank you for being on the show, Lisa, and sharing your immense talents. In a few days, all of America will be celebrating freedom. However, as the fireworks go off, you can count on your family four-legged friends to go off too. Last but not least, we have Hudson the New Yorkie with us tonight sharing a few of his 4th of July tips for you and your pet. I sure like that, Hudson. Hey, yo, Hudson the New Yorkie here. How do I look? I'm a little nervous. Do I look okay? Good, thanks. Might I say, Natalie, that you are looking beautiful. <sighs> <clears throat> okay, here are some tips to keep your dogs calm, cool, and collected during firework celebrations or summer thunderstorms. Number one, make sure we get a lot of exercise and playtime before fireworks start. In other words, you want to try and knock us out cold. Number two, be sure we have a safe place to hide if we do get scared. Three, don't leave us alone. If you know that we're prone to freaking out, make sure that someone we know is home with us. Number four, how about surprising us with a super fun toy or bone, something we don't normally get. Number five, don't be afraid to get those oils on us, in us, and around us. When used correctly, doTERRA oils are very safe for pets, good for us even. Diffuse oils like peace, serenity, vetiver, lavender, Kama, Adaptive, and Copaiba. You can apply them topically too. Remember, we have a strong sense of smell, so a very little bit is going to go a very long way. Whatever you do, don't stress us out more by assaulting our sniffers. Most dogs can take oils internally too. A Serenity Soft Gel, Adaptive Capsule, two to three drops of Copaiba oil, or the Soft Gels perhaps. Internal use is only recommended for dogs over 30 pounds. I know. Don't say it. I'm about 22 pounds shy of 30. But hey, don't you worry. What I lack in size, I make up for in personality. Oh, and here's a little secret. If you are nervous to use oils on your dogs, or if you have little guys like me, try applying the common oils to yourself. First of all, when you're anxious, even if it's being anxious about whether or not we're going to be anxious, it makes us anxious. So stay calm and well-oiled. Also, when you're well-oiled, you're like a human diffuser and everyone benefits, even your pets. How did I do? Was that okay? Good. <clears throat> and now, this is Hudson the New Yorkie signing off. Back to you guys. Well, we're now at the top of the hour. This is Jesse Hill signing off. You stay classy, doTERRA. And thanks for stopping by. Stay classy. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs>